All right, guys, we're gonna be reacting to Boruto episode 223. This episode right here is going to be the first round, or not the first round, the first versus battle. What am I talking about? Of the final round of the Chunin exam. This right here is gonna be a very interesting battle. It's going to be Enojin versus Hauki. I talked about this in my review. By the way, if you guys have not seen my review, I already uploaded my review. So if you guys want to check it out, there you guys go. But this right here is going to be interesting for multiple reasons. I think the last episode did a very good job of setting up this battle, essentially giving Enojin and Hauki a lot of character development and, of course, some screen time, well-deserved screen time, by the way, that they needed right before their actual match because if we didn't necessarily get any screen time with those two, we'd just be thinking, hey, two random people are actually fighting, obviously not Enojin because we understand that he is his size son. But regardless, this fight right here is definitely going to be interesting for many reasons. I think the biggest one is going to be the first time that we do actually get to see Hauki actually fight. He looks a lot like Kakashi. Even though he looks like Kakashi, we have to figure out, does he fight like Kakashi? Now, obviously, we don't necessarily expect Hauki to be as good as Kakashi is. But we do expect Hauki to be at least formidable. He has to gain our respect to actually look the way he looks. Because he can't just be walking around with a mask and his head bent over his eye and just be completely fodder. Now, I've seen some people even talk about potential essentially what Hauki's eye can actually do. I don't necessarily think it's going to be anything too special to because we've seen him already, I believe it was the Genin exams when Boruto essentially like 1v1 Kakashi. That's besides the point, but Hauki's eye wasn't necessarily anything too special. Obviously, during that specific episode, Hauki wasn't necessarily a featured character, so it might be a certain situation where they just didn't necessarily dive too much into his character. I don't know. Maybe Hauki has some sort of special ability in his eye, and I've just been sleeping on it. But regardless, I definitely do want to see exactly what this actual preview has in store for us. Let's let's continue. By the way, Konohara might need to retake the tuning exam. That's besides the point. <laughs> All right, we got the two generals right here, partners. These are the big dogs. See, he looks way too much like Akashi to be fodder. Way too much like Akashi. What is that? What ref? Ref? Ref, what was that? What was... Of course, this right here has to be one of Hauki's abilities because we haven't necessarily seen um, Enojin do anything like this. So 100%, nine times out of 10. That's not 100%. You guys get my point. That right there is most likely going to be from Hauki. This right here actually does look like Earth style. Now, he could have multiple chakra natures. Not necessarily saying that right there is going to be the only one, but I definitely do expect to see a lot of Earth style specifically come from Hauki because this right here looks absolutely insane. Now, this right here basically says to think I'll be going up against Enojin. That right there is most likely Hauki. I mean, it's looking good. Konohamaru's impressed. Shikadai also, he's looking on. That jutsu right there looks good. Just because you're a size son doesn't mean I'll be holding back. Again, yo, again, the side dynamic. I never really thought about it before I actually did see this preview. Enojin is the son of Sai, and Sai is the master of Hauki. So this right here is definitely going to be a very... I'd say decent internal struggle for Sai. I'm 100% expecting Sai to get some camera time. I definitely do want to know exactly what Sai is thinking in his mind because obviously his son is going to be Enojin, so he's probably going to want Enojin to win, but he probably also wants to see Hoki be a Chunin just because of the sheer fact that he's the teacher of Hauki. So again, this dynamic is very, very interesting. Adds a completely different layer. Coming to this battle, I was really only thinking about how can how he's going to live up to the name or live up to the look of looking like Akashi and also how Enojin improved from what we've seen from his earlier fights because we haven't seen Enojin fight in like probably like over a hundred episodes or so. So now this right here actually means something very interesting. But let's continue on. They teammates looking on. I definitely do want to see how she does. I mean... I don't really think that she's actually going to be in the shooting exam because I think she lost the first or the second round. But I still do want to see her fight, and I still do want to see him fight. Again, with this team, we have absolutely no idea what, what they can actually do. We understand that she has telekinesis, but other than that, I mean, how, how, how does she lose the second round if she has telekinesis, partners? Uh, yo, let, let me continue. Said, I'll win. He's in the Anbu, right? Yo, what was that with his eye? Is he just looking? This right here looks like the right eye. So it's not necessarily the eye that is under the headband. So 
it's most likely like a regular he's just looking for enojin but as i said earlier the left eye is definitely going to be very interesting specifically what he can possibly do with that eye and if it has any other abilities period it's going to be very confusing how he is actually fighting with one eye literally just for cosmetic reasons just because he wants to look like akashi that right there would make absolutely no sense so hopefully i mean he knows what he's doing right here something happens but you know i'll win this it looks like Enojin is stuck. This right here is a kunai. I don't know if these are strings or electricity off of the kunai. I don't know. It's, it's looking interesting. Enojin versus Hauki. I like it. I like it. I like it. The big thing that I'm going to be looking for is probably going to be Hauki's eye. But also, the other element that I didn't necessarily even think about, Sai being the father of Enojin and being the teacher of Hauki, that right there is absolutely insane. So, let me know what you guys think about this matchup in the comment section below. But right now i'm gonna give my prediction about who i think is probably going to win i'm gonna say enojin i'm gonna say enojin because he, of course he's one of the main characters but i believe they're probably gonna have it be extremely difficult like how is actually going to present a problem now obviously i did read the spoils but i don't necessarily think they actually gave the winner in the spoils i definitely do remember that them actually saying that how presented something that enojin had to overcome but i'm not necessarily sure they they actually did talk about the winner from what we've seen right here, it, he is presenting something that this man Enojin has to overcome. Like, he in the trenches. Like, this right here looks like the trenches. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. And give me what you guys think. Who do you guys think is probably going to win this battle? It's me, a boy, Barbie. And we out. It's a knife.